How did you feel when you heard you'd been suspended from the party? Very shocked and very disappointed. I've been in the Labour Party all my life. And I want to make it absolutely clear. Anti-Semitism has no place whatsoever in our party or our movement. I've opposed it and racism in all its forms all my life. And that is what I've made clear during my leadership of the party and I make clear today as a Member of Parliament and proud to be one. You said you will strongly contest your suspension. Will you be taking legal action? What I'll be doing is appealing to the party and those that have made this decision to kindly think again. All I've done is pointed out that this terrible issue of anti-Semitism does exist and anyone that has anti-Semitic views has no place in the Labour movement or the Labour Party. And we have to deal with it. That is why I set up a process to deal with it. All I pointed out was there was a public perception of a third of Labour Party members under suspicion of anti-Semitism. The reality is very different. It was 0.03%. But that is 0.3% too many. And I think we have to chase it out as we are trying to do. That is important because I want to make clear to all communities, the Jewish community in particular, you are very welcome in the Labour Party. It is your party. It is the party that has always fought against racism and it is unacceptable that you should be treated in any bad way whatsoever. Labour say you've been suspended in light of your comments made today and your failure to retract them. Will you retract anything you've said today? I've explained what I said. I've explained what I meant by it. I am not diminishing or minimising the issue of anti-Semitism. It is serious, it is real, it does exist. And indeed, I've said very bluntly to a number of people over the past few years who've said to me, well, it doesn't exist. I said it does exist and it's got to be dealt with and I am determined to make sure it is dealt with.